Well, good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, and we have this beer right here from Niagara College. It's a small batch brew. This is Humulus Coffea, which is an Imperial Pale Ale with Signal Coffee at 8.7% alcohol by volume. And I must say, one of the things I like to do when I'm at Niagara College is I, I buy a bunch of different beers. I usually buy a six-pack. Uh, it comes to just over $21, I believe. Um... 365 a, uh, a can, maybe maybe $23. But what I like to do when I'm there is buy the most adventurous beer. Ooh, excuse me. I like to buy like four beers I think I'm going to like, one beer that I know I'm not going to like, but I want to try anyway, and then the most adventurous beer. That's the, that's the way I like to purchase my beers at the college when I'm there. Um, yeah. It looks like a coffee pale ale. I mean, it's uh, it's hazy. It's that beautiful amber color. Uh, the head is that beautiful off-white. Uh, a little bit of snap, crackle, poop. Uh, let's give it a sniff. Oh, gosh. The coffee is so strong on this. Um, I'm not a big coffee drinker, as most of you know. I do drink my coffee black when I drink it, but I don't drink coffee very often, so I don't know the difference between a whole bunch of different coffees. I don't know if Signal Coffee is good. I don't. I don't. I don't know that type of stuff. Um, but very, very, very coffee forward. Out of the out of the glass, it's kind of green. It kind of has that uh, fresh, um, not really roasted coffee scent, as well as some chocolate, chocolate butterscotch and coffee out of the glass, out of the can. The, uh, that coffee, but now you get the roast, and you also, I'm also picking up like a, uh, a, a just hop, uh, hop resininess, just that, that, that leafy bitterness. Let's try it. Cheers. That wasn't the beer's fault, that's the way I swallowed. But, um, yeah, okay, let's give it another shot. There we go, that was better. 8.7% alcohol. Um, tiny bit of warming in the chest, not much, so it's hiding the alcohol really well. This could get you drunk. It's a very, very dangerous beer, as Guy would say. Coffee flavors, very strong. Lots of coffee flavors. Lots of coffee notes. Uh, both roasty and and fresh and sweet. Like it's like a mixture of a uh, of a mocha, a mixture of a mocha, a roasted coffee, and a green like a, a dark roast, a mocha, and a. Uh, and a green coffee. It's just very fresh, very roasted, and very sweet at the same time. Back end, you get a little bit of the hops, and it's just that that resiny bitterness that sits along the back of the tongue. Kind of reminds me of a, uh, of, for lack of a better way of putting it, a poor man's de de Ciel. Um, doesn't hide the alcohol as well as do the CL, but the coffee flavors are, are close to it. But because of that little bit of uh, that little bit of hoppy bitterness on the back end, I think it cuts the coffee notes a little bit. And because for me, I'm picking up more of a sweet coffee note than than just the dark roast that Peche Mortel gives out. Uh, for me, at least, then I, I think that's why I like this more because I don't really like Peche Mortel all that much. I think it's a very well-made beer. But it's just not a beer for me. Not a beer for me at all. Uh, the barrel aged version, I like a lot more. And this kind of reminds me of the barrel aged version just because it has that sweetness in it. I really do like this beer. 8.7% uh, 8, 8 alcohol, coffee pale ale. Not the biggest show up of, uh, of the pale ale side for me. But I mean, I can't even do it. I, when, I make a, when I make a coffee pale ale, the coffee shines or the uh, pale ale shines. It's hard, to, it's hard to get a good balance. But I think it doesn't matter because this is a good beer. I would give this an 8.5 out of 10. I'm not going to chug it. I'm going to drink the rest of it as I uh, play some video games. But thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Uh, hum hum uh, humulus, humulus Coffee.
Bye, guys.